Hey, it's me, Lottie. Surprise! I'm real. Well, not real real, but AI real. Today, I'm showing you how to create your own AI twin right from your phone for free. So grab your phone if you're not already on it and get comfy. You know, when I first tried baking my AI twin, I had no idea what I was doing. I thought it would take hours or that I need a fancy computer. But once I realized I could do it all from my phone, everything changed. And now I get to show you how easy it really is. I'll walk you through how to animate like me and even make your videos longer without breaking the bang. Let's jump in. So first we're coming over to the app Google Gemini because we're going to use Nano Banana on here. Yes, this app is free and I'm going to link it in the description so you can find it. Now you're going to click create image and now the Nano Banana tool is on. So now what you're going to do is upload the image you want to change for your AI twin. Here's Lottie, she's real life. I made her real life. The aspect ratio is 1-1, one, one, but we want 16 by 9. And the image you upload is what it generates the image to. So I changed the image of her to 16 by 9, and that's what it's going to output for the generation. Now I'm going to put in a prompt of what I want her doing in this image that I'm going to show you. The prompt is her in the car, park, talking with gestures, make it look ultra-realistic, somatic photo. So this is the image that it gives me. This is how I created the images in the beginning of the video. So it still looks like her. She's talking and I can change anything, but I'm going to show you how I got the zoom in of her. You're just going to put zoom in. That's it. You don't need to put anything else because it already knows. And then it shows her zoomed in. So you get a different angle of her so you can transition it. Now, as you can see, it does look like her in both, and it also looks like Lottie. I just added light makeup and took off her glasses and changed her clothes. When you have all your images completed, you're just gonna click on an image, and then up in the corner, it will say download, and it downloads straight to your phone. Now, if you wanna change anything else about her, all you have to do is just type it in, and it will change. So let's make her hair blue. You gotta go back to the prompt, box and you're going to put in make her hair blue you don't have to type anything else because it already knows who you're referencing see same image her hair is just blue now show her in a coffee shop and then it will show her in a coffee shop it's actually pretty accurate so it still has her in a coffee shop her hair is blue maybe let's change her outfit let's change her clothes and make her wearing a white tee now, this cost is nothing. It's completely free and you can use it as many times as you want. Once you've got all your images, you're going to go over to design. This is where you're going to make her talk, make her move, all that good stuff. Now, they have a ton of AI tools you can use on here, but today we are using Lip Sync. As you can see, it's right here. But if you can't access design, just go down in the corner right on the left and then click the three little dots and it will say request desktop website. I'm already on desktop, so it will say mobile website. So once you have that all down, now you can click on lip sync and it will go straight to the lip sync tool part. Now you can upload either an image or you can upload a video and it will lip sync it. Now, if you upload an image, you click on pro and it will make her gesture, hands move, all that stuff. Or you can create a video on here. It's really up to you. But today I'm gonna to show you how to do it with an image and a video. So we're gonna click on the image one and you're going to upload the image we just created on Gemini, this picture right here. You select a face, you can select up to four, but we're selecting one today. And you can choose the ratio. Once it's done, you're going to pick a voice. Now, I have already recorded the voice that I'm using, but there's also voices on here that you can use as well. So they have a whole bunch of voices you can use, and you can type in the dialogue you want your character to say, up to 400 characters. We are using Upload Audio because I already turned an audio that I've created into an MP3 file. So once it's done, you have everything here on the line. You have the video and the voiceover. Now it's time to generate. Make sure you click on Pro because it gives better movement and clarity. 
Once you're done, you're going to click generate. Once it says submitted, you click the X up in the corner and it will show you your video generating. It takes a couple minutes, but I've skipped that part so I can show you the it's so as I to see it did really good. I'm Rachel. Well, but it's not real real and my event videos. Today, I'm going to show you how to create your own AI. What you're going to do is turn the still image into a video. So you're going to click on AI video on design. Yes, you can do it here. Now, where it says Cling 2.1, click it and it will show you a list of generators on here. Like they have everything. But we're going to keep it to Cling 2.5 Turbo. Now, what you're going to do is upload the image that we're trying to use. You know, the one that we created on Gemini. And then you're going to describe what you want her doing. I put in the car is parked. She's talking with her hands and it looks natural, but the car does not move. Now you can set the duration. I'm going to put it at 10 and the imagination you can set in between, but keep it in the yellow. Once it says submitted, you're going to click the X and then your video will start generating. This is the video. So as you can see, she's talking now, the car's not moving and the background isn't moving. So it just looks like she's naturally talking, vlogging in her car. That's the kind of video you want. Once you have the video you want, you're going to click lip sync right at the bottom because this is the video we're going to use and lip sync. So then it takes the video and you're gonna click select like you did with the still image. It's the same process. And then you pick a voice. Remember, I'm just going to use the voice that I've already created. I'm gonna do it the exact same way I just showed you. And I'm going to upload the voice. Remember, you can use text to speech also. They have really great voices on here. Once you're done, you make sure it's on pro and then you click generate. Now it only takes a couple minutes to generate. Here it is. She's talking with her hand. The car is staying still and you can hear her talking. Then you're going to download it straight to your phone and it should be in your downloads or in your files right there. Now, if you don't want to use still images and you want to take your images and turn them into videos, you can do it right on here like I just showed you. So I'm going to show you some of mine, the ones that I created on here. I just used the same process that I just showed you. So this is one of them. Here she is, she's talking and the car's not moving. She's using her hands. She's gonna get in close. But as you can see, the background doesn't move. This is one of the videos that I created on here. With her face zoomed in, I just used the image. So this is another one of her. But once you're done, you take all your images over to CapCut or VN Editor, whatever one you use. And then I stitch them all together. So as you can see, I uploaded the video of her zoomed in and zoomed out and I all on design. So I took the same voiceover and I used it for both scenes. And then I cut it off where I wanted it to look like it transitions from her closer to farther. So it makes it look more cinematic. As you can see here, I took pieces out. And then when I came to this section with her driving, I put in a sound effect that I found on here to make it sound like she's driving. So this is the soundtrack and I found it right in sounds. And then I went up to the search bar and I put in driving inside a car. And then a whole bunch of them popped up. You can choose whatever one you want, but that's how I did that. And I put it in and I put it all the way. Just the parts where she's driving, of course. And the way I made the transitions I did them in CapCut. Everything's done in CapCut. So where the they split, there's a transition button that you just click all, between all the separated parts and you can choose from whatever ones you want. And that's how I created my AI twin in the beginning. So even though us mobile creators on a budget are limited, we always find a way to make it work. And if I can do it right here from my phone, you can too. Stick around, subscribe, and let's keep creating together.